Good morning everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Hamna and every day I share out these messages um, which I pick intuitively through these five words that come to me through the channel written notes that I have here. Um, and I bring the words together in the hope and intention that they will bring us some clarity, tap into the energy world and speak to the universe, to speak to the unseen and um, channel them through from there to here. If that makes or any sense or resonates with you, then please go ahead and watch this movie. Otherwise, just swipe through. So with that, I will pick up these notes. I believe um, that we are all one, that what is meant for me is meant for you also at the energy core, core level. And when the universe speaks to us, it's speaking to all of us in one go and it's guiding us how we can uplift ourselves and tune into the energy of the planet. So the five words for today, I'm going to pick them now for all of us first word I picked was wholeness, the second one is truth, third is water, fourth is go back to your center and fifth is ego. Now let me bring out the messages that I'm receiving through each one of them on their own. Wholeness, I did speak about this even um, yesterday in my video to understand what wholeness means is to own your light and dark, is to understand that there is a shadow that we are carrying um, within us, that also the more you go towards the light, the more the light shows you all of you. So the more you switch on the light in the room, everything becomes very clear in the room. So if you are going within you and you're opening your heart chakra and working with the um, anything creative or anything connecting to your intuition, that is opening your heart chakra, you will automatically be starting and unfolding a lot of the demons, a lot of trapped trauma within your body within your energy body mental physical and all that sort of stuff will sort of ooze out of you and become really clear and you cannot um you cannot become whole you're you're very blessed if that experience is happening to you because so many people live through their life like robots and don't um aren't awakened to the truth of their own being. They don't have the time or the understanding or the inclination or intention to walk inwards. They like to live the life on a very superficial level. So if you are being blessed to switch on your light and be able to see the whole of you with all the trauma, all the trapped emotions, all the things that you um, thought were gone and you thought they're under the table and it's okay I'll deal with it in another life they sort of come up to the surface and you start seeing yourself whole you start seeing your faults your mistakes your uh, places where you've kind of ignored or abandoned yourself sabotaged yourself lied to yourself all of those um, sort of become very clear when you um, start walking towards the path of becoming whole, which leads you to speak the truth. Now, this actually has led me to work on another video about the throat chakra. Speaking the truth has been a massive, massive um, journey for myself personally. So I would love to share how I started speaking my truth and cleared my throat chakra. I will share my tips in a video coming up soon today. I feel I am being guided to make it today because it seems like there's so many of us who, um, you know, and even if you start speaking and you've cleared your throat, doesn't mean it's done and it's over because healing is not linear. It's a constant. You have to constantly keep cleaning your throat because the environment, the society, the people we live with, they, there's constantly this thing that should I be speaking my throat? Should I say what I feel like? And what truth really means is that we've been told a lot of things, that we've been um, 
almost feel imposed on us. Uh, might not have been the intention of those people, but that's how we feel that because they're not our truth. And we've tried to make other people's truth our truth. So for example, um, marriage is a big one. So, or having kids is a big one or going to a university is a big one. Like you are being told that you have to do this to achieve anything in life. You have to go to a college or university to polish your skills. But what if you are born with a certain skill and you could polish that one skill and make yourself a master in that? But you are told that, no, you have to go to the university first, you have to do this first, and then you have to go to that first. So you actually take on other people's truth onto yourselves. So that is um, clarifying, understanding, and speaking your truth is when you become aware of all that you have been absorbing from other people and you learn to push back and recognize that this is their truth that you had absorbed as your truth but then because you're working from the wholeness and now you've switched on the light in your room and you're seeing everything clearly within yourself your truth comes from the inside out and that is what we are being asked to water that is life um goes on life flourishes with water water is kind of like has all the nutrients and minerals and everything that gives us a feeling of being settled and nurtured and held and so water has a way of giving us that feeling that um it's okay to grow. It's okay to grow and speak your truth. Grow means growing your truth, growing from the inside. So water your truth, water all that you are feeling, water your dark side, water your light side, water everything that you are because water is what gives you life. Water has a way of holding things. So if you put water in a powdered um you know dry material or something it'll cling and bring it all together so that's what it's asking you come together in yourself and uh, hold all of you in one place first of all water to nurture to give life and also to bring it all in to own yourself to own your truth water that feeling and that is what will take you back to the seed that you are it will allow you to <clears throat> excuse me it will allow you to go back to the beginning of where it all began so you start working with your inner child wounds you start working with those core understandings of the society that was put on you you start questioning them you start making choices based on the fact of what your understanding is, what your truth has become. So you go back into the center. So you're being asked to go back into your center today and to free yourself from your ego. Forget your logical thinking, why do I need to do this? Do it because you need to get in touch with yourself to become whole. Allow your ego to settle because ego is important it's very, very important, but it's also important to manage it, is to learn how to manage your thoughts. When you start managing your thoughts, you start going inwards to the core being that you are. When you start going back to the core being that you are, you water what is your truth. You start watering that what you are here to speak and do that what your purpose is to be fully yourself and live a life feeling whole because your soul came here knowing that it is whole just the way it was created by the creator i hope these words help you hold you ground you and allow you to understand that you are being called if you are watching this video you are being called to speak your truth and soon i will be sharing a video about clearing your throat chakra how do you go on to a journey first of all to recognize that you have a blocked throat chakra and then how do you actually 
clear it out so that you can speak your truth, live a life sharing the purpose of your being, of your soul and connect it to yourself and to your creator. If any of this resonates with you, my work is based on this. Speaking your truth, letting go of attachment, coming into the present and allowing yourself to live a life feeling limitless. If you feel guided to send me a message and let's get started on your journey within yourself. To your light, to your core, to your true, authentic, beautiful being. I will leave you and send you lots and lots of love, light and peace everyone. Enjoy your day and please take good care of yourselves. See you soon.